When Sage Northcutt signed with the Ultimate Fighting Championship in 2015, he was presented as the next big thing in the sport by Dana White and company. But a few tough losses later, that narrative changed. And before anyone knew it, Northcutt exited the world's premier MMA promotion. But that's half the story. Things went from bad to worse for Northcutt in his one championship debut as the Karataka suffered a knockout loss that would have ended the career of any other fighter. But youth, determination, and maybe some help from MMA gods saw him through. Adversity breeds champions, as they say, and Northcutt has had a fair share of adversity at such a young age. Will it breed him into the champion he was always destined to be? Only time will tell. For now, let's dive deeper into the fall, rise, and return of Super Sage Northcutt. Born in Sacramento, California in 1996, Sage Northcutt has been a martial artist for as long as he can remember. His father, a black belt in karate, took him under his wing when he was only four years old. And as years went by, Northcutt grew bigger and better, piling up an undefeated kickboxing record as well as training with his college wrestling club before dropping out to pursue mixed martial arts full-time. After proving his medal in amateur mixed martial arts with a 5-1 record, Northcutt turned pro at only 18 years old in 2014. In his first fight, he locked horns with Tim Lashley in a 165-pound catchweight bout at Legacy Fighting Championship 37 in April 2014 and made an instant impact, rocking his opponent with a wheel kick and then putting him away with additional shots in less than 30 seconds. Five days later, Northcutt was back in the cage to face Jacob Capelli in another catchweight bout at Legacy FC Challenger Series 1. Much like his debut, Northcutt's second fight was a masterclass as well. The 18-year-old entertained the crowd with flashy kicks for the first few seconds, before unleashing a punching combination as Capelli charged in with no regard for defense and was knocked out. A couple more wins later, Northcutt faced a veteran with a losing record in Rocky Long in his welterweight debut at Legacy FC 44. Super Sage showed an exceptionally well-rounded skill set by outstriking his opponent and dominating him on the mat for eight minutes before putting Long out of his misery with a neck crank. After compiling a 5-0 record in MMA with a 100% finish rate, Northcutt signed with the UFC, and Dana White was over the moon for having signed a prospect that had championship potential, plus supermodel-like looks and a huge potential for global stardom. Northcutt proved the UFC bigwigs right in his promotional debut against Francisco Trevino at UFC 192. Northcutt started the fight in a typical fashion, using body and leg kicks to test his opponent. Seconds into the first minute, Trevino slipped and the UFC newcomer pounced on him like a maniac, throwing punches and bunches on the feet before securing a thunderous takedown and finishing the job with ground and pound. Northcutt's second UFC outing was a lot tougher compared to his debut. The UFC's prized prospect fought Cody Fister in a lightweight contest. As soon as the fight started, the underdog shot for a takedown and managed to secure it, controlling Northcutt for half the round, before Northcutt would turn the tables on him and end round one in top position. In the second round, Northcutt initiated grappling, and after a few scrambles, he snapped his foe's neck with a guillotine and forced the tap. With seven pro wins under his belt, the UFC thought Northcutt was ready for a step up in competition, but they messed up big time. Northcutt was originally scheduled to face Andrew Holbrook, but he got injured, and in came an experienced campaigner in Brian Barberina. Northcutt had a lot of success in the early exchanges, bloodying up the veteran, but he got a little too flashy for his own good and was choked out in the second round, a loss that would badly shake his confidence. Northcutt bounced back in an impressive way against Enrique Marine a few months later, before suffering his second career loss against Mickey Gall of all people. Gall was pretty popular back in 2016 after having ruined CM Punk's MMA debut. But he still hadn't proved anything in the sport, and a loss to him badly dented Northcutt's title hopes. After his loss to Gall, Northcutt's hype died down big time, and even the UFC started promoting him less, but he bounced back with three consecutive victories against Michel Quinones, Thibaut Guti, and Zach Otto. Against Quinones, Northcutt mixed striking and grappling up to secure a comfortable decision win before earning a hard-fought decision against Thibaut Guti, thanks to his advantage in the striking exchanges. In his final UFC fight in July 2018, Northcutt faced Zach Otto in a welterweight fight. Seconds into the bout, Northcutt had his eyes roll back after getting dropped with a big right hand, but he managed to quickly gain his composure on the mat, 
before turning the tables on his opponent in the second round to finish him with a KO. In November, Northcutt parted ways with the UFC after the promotion opted not to re-sign him, with Dana White Loki admitting that he wasn't good enough for the UFC, and maybe if he performed well outside, they might bring him back. Perhaps Northcutt failed to live up to the expectations, but given how young he was during his time in the UFC, it wasn't entirely his fault. With the UFC in the rearview mirror, Northcutt signed with one championship, facing the scary Brazilian kickboxer Cosmo Alexandra in his 185-pound debut at 1, Enter the Dragon in summer 2019. Seconds into their fight, Alexander broke Northcutt's jaw with a hook from the deepest pits of hell. The American system shut down one step at a time, and within a couple of seconds, he dropped face first onto the mat. Northcutt suffered more than half a dozen facial fractures that required multiple surgeries to fix, and the injury sidelined the young MMA star for four years. Anyone else would have given up and probably retired, but Northcutt fought through physical and mental hurdles to first return to training, and then fight his fears and make his walk to the cage he craves. After a couple of fight cancellations for one reason or another, Northcutt returned to action against Pakistan's top MMA fighter, Ahmed Muchtaba, in a 170-pound contest at one fight night in Colorado in May 2023. Seconds into the fight, Northcutt was dropped with a jab, but he quickly regained composure, before grabbing a hold of his foe's leg and twisting his heel to force the tap and complete one of the greatest comebacks in MMA history. If you have stayed with us till now, it may feel like Northcutt has been fighting for an eternity, but he's only 27 years old and probably is yet to hit his prime, which means he still has enough time to win a championship and prove his naysayers wrong. Should he pull it off? What a story that would be. But there's still a lot of work to be done. With that, we have come to the end of our video on Sage Northcutt's rise, fall, and return. Will the Americans secure an MMA title down the road? Give us your thoughts in the comments section below.